All right, let's just jump right in. We're about to tackle one of the most frustrating parts of mental math. You know the one I'm talking about, the seven times table. But don't worry, because by the end of this, you're going to have a surprisingly simple trick to master it for good. It's just a single digit, right? But it's the one that often makes us pause. Unlike the twos, which is just simple doubling, or the fives, which have that nice, clean five-zero pattern, the multiples of seven can feel totally random and tough to memorize. But hey, that is all about to change. Okay, get ready, because here it is, the big aha moment. The secret isn't about memorizing more stuff. Nope, it's about breaking the problem down into something you already know how to do. And that's it. That is the entire secret. We're going to stop thinking about the number seven. Instead, we're going to start thinking about it as five plus two. And with that one simple shift, you can turn a difficult number into two of the absolute easiest numbers to multiply in your head. Now, to make this sound a little more official, let's give this idea a name. We're going to call it the mental repetition rule. So let's see what that really means. So the rule is really just a formal way of saying you take one tough multiplication problem, anything times seven, and you just split it into two really easy ones. Then you just add the results together. Here's what that looks like as a super simple formula. Now don't let the n freak you out. n is just any number you want to multiply by seven. So instead of doing seven times n, you just do five times n, then two times n, and add those two answers up. That's all there is to it. Right, enough theory. Talk is cheap, right? The best way to see how powerful this is is to actually put it into practice. So let's do a quick example together. Let's use a classic problem straight from the seven times table, seven times six. Maybe you have it memorized, maybe you don't. But let's just pretend for a second that your mind has gone completely blank and you need to figure it out fast. Okay, we're gonna solve this in four incredibly simple mental steps. First, we'll apply our new formula. Then we'll solve each of the two easy parts. And finally, we'll just add them together to get our answer. Ready? Okay, step one. We take our problem, seven times six, and we apply the rule. This immediately changes it into five times six plus two times six. See that? It already looks so much less intimidating. Now for step two. Let's solve that first part. Pretty much everyone knows five times six is 30. That's the first easy part done. See? We're already halfway there. And step three is just as simple. We solve the second part. Two times six is just doubling six, which gets us 12. So now our whole problem is just a simple addition, 30 plus 12. And for the final step, we just add them together. 30 plus 12 is, of course, 42. And just like that, you've solved seven times six without ever having to actually multiply by seven. It's almost effortless.